Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going on a journey to blonde. So if you want to see how I went from this to this, this is a video for you. We're going to be talking about the cost, the difference between DIY and a salon experience, the time needed, and some super important facts that you need to know if you want to get great results and have a great experience. Here we go, let's do it. Let me start this video by saying that I've DIY'd my own blonde in the past. <laughs> Don't judge me. It happened by accident because I DIY'd, I did it myself. Bleach. This is bleach powder and it specifically says only for use by professionals, which I am not. Nah, babe. No. You look, you look so good with dark hair. It'll look amazing but it will cost a fortune. You'll have to go in like every six weeks to keep it up. Do it! So I decided to find out for myself and finally do it. <laughs> Welcome to Lupino's. I'm going blonde today. That's how I discovered Lupino's, the salon with a bar. Yes, a bar with signature cocktails, wine, coffee, tea, petit fours, or in my visit, a cheese board. This might sound weird, but I'm equally excited to discover that there's more than enough space to plug in my laptop and geek out. These menu holders, by the way, they are phone chargers. Okay, let's get to the hair. Stay till the end and we'll break down some costs. First, we start off with a consultation. Christine, firstly, can we get you a drink today from our complimentary menu? This is amazing. I am hanging out for a, do you have lactose-free milk? Absolutely. Yeah. May I please have a lactose-free flat white? Absolutely. No awesome. Problems. Oh my God. They have cocktails. I want to show you the six cocktails that they've got. It would be rude not to. Let's do it. Can we? Can we? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. All right. Have a look at the cocktails. I want to go very, very blonde. Like I want to go as blonde as I possibly can. Obviously you've got quite dark hair. Uh -huh. Have you been blonde before? I have, yes. So going blonde is quite a process, especially being quite dark where you're at naturally. Mm -hmm. It's not something you can do in a one visit. It's going to take time Okay. Um, because depending on how light you want to go it's a bit of a journey so did you have some pictures of what you had in mind of where you'd I like did. to go i did i mean i don't know can i do like this blonde so it's a really cool blonde now with your color tone mm -hmm. my concern with that would be maintenance is mm -hmm. something you need to consider so you can see that that's a solid blonde there's mm -hmm. no natural left in there whatsoever mm -hmm. so if that's something you're wanting to achieve that's no problem but then you're going to know that you're going to have to do your regrowth every three to four weeks because you're going to get a band of your natural color mm -hmm. being so contrasting mm -hmm. against it mm -hmm. the other thing with this particular one is being so cool against your skin tone um, it may limit you to what makeups you can wear what yeah. color clothes you can wear because you don't want it to drown your skin mm. color out so it's up to you but I would suggest maybe something with a little bit more of a root shadow so that it'll blend down gradually into the lighter blonde down the bottom so it's not gonna be oh your color starts here yeah the color will still start up quite high yes. but it'll be a soft blend down to the really light blonde yeah that's so awesome. I noticed another photo on your board Actually, this is where I'm at now. This is definitely going to be more achievable. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, it's going to look nicer on your skin tone. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to limit you as much when it comes to makeup, clothing, everything like that. And with mm -hmm. the root shadow being in there, you're not going to have to get it done every three weeks. So basically, I wanted a very light, creamy blonde. And the truth was that it was going to take two to three sessions to get there. At first, I did not love the idea, but I accepted it because that's the only way we're going to do it well and healthily. 
But my goodness, I loved the first color. It was more brown than blonde, but they basically created six shades in my hair. Six. Turns out one of the most important steps when initiating blonde hair is creating depth. I can't say this enough. It wasn't necessarily about going light as possible as it was about going light with depth. I love this face so much. I almost didn't <laughs> go blonde any further and just stayed here. The thing about going light as possible is that you can't really calculate the exact color you're going to end on by the end of your visit. You can estimate, yes, but for newbies like me, we didn't really point at a color and say, that's exactly what it's going to be like by the end of today. There are a lot of factors like, was my hair pre-dyed? Does my hair accept bleach well? Is the hair healthy or is it vulnerable? So really, it's normal to get different results per person. This is where your hairstylist skill set comes shining through. They calculate shades that will lead to your end goal, but they also create the shade you're going to live in for about four to six weeks. This is why I'm saying that going to a blonde that wows you isn't about the quick and easy. It's about creating transition phases that are just as enjoyable as the end result. And apart from hair products, that's where your investment really goes. Your investment goes into the skill set. By the end of visit two, I was already happy. I was blonde, but I had a dreamy, creamy color in mind. So I went in for one more visit and I'm so glad I did because it was during this visit that we achieved the color that I wanted. So I could finally see what that looked like in real life. So let's break it down. In my first visit, I spent five hours at the salon with a total cost of $570. In my second visit, I spent about four and a half hours at the salon with a total cost of $525. In my third visit, I spent four hours at the salon with a total cost of $445. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it starts off most intensively, then it tapers off. We did something called a root shadow. A root shadow is where the roots are still dyed, but they stay dark. So we kept my roots close to my natural color and then it lightens close to the roots. In my understanding, this is a little different from a balayage where the roots are darker and the lightness starts further down the hair. We chose not to do a scalp bleach where you bleach straight from the scalp because I wanted a more natural looking regrowth. But we also didn't do a balayage because I wanted to be primarily blonde. The benefit of a root shadow is that I can have extra time between lightening sessions and my hair will still look mainly light. This came in extra handy because we started this before lockdown. Okay, so let's break down maintenance. After six weeks, you're recommended to do a root shadow toner refresh. This is $90 and takes about 45 minutes. After three months, you're recommended to do a scattered half head of foils and smart bond. This costs about $325. Some people like having more regrowth. So even after three months, you can just do a root shadow toner and then push foiling out to six months. Avoid leaving balayage on for more than six months without foils because it starts to look unblended and can cause challenges. Last but definitely not the least, I really do have to attribute so much of the experience to the team and the space. I think sometimes beautiful spaces with nice facilities like Lapinos can be intimidating and sometimes people assume that the people who work here are going to be snobby, but they are the total opposite. The team has next level family vibe. They make you feel so welcome and super comfortable. What I learned from this journey to Blonde is that it's not just about applying bleach and toner. It's about a full experience that you can look forward to. I used to think that beauty regimens like this were boring and honestly, that's why I used to procrastinate or avoid them. But when you get a good experience, which goes beyond the end result, you start to see that you're investing in a full package and not just the bleach. If you like this video, give this video a like. If you have any comments or questions, pop them in the comment section down below. If you are from Brisbane and are interested in visiting Lapinos to have a similar experience, their details are also in the description box of this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you know what to do, please do.